Hi guys, it's been a while, but I'm back, and I have a review for you today of Marvel Universe Scar from Series 3. Uh, he's figure number 16, but first, it's breakfast time. Captain Crunch, oh yeah! Alright, now, for those of you who are going like, WTF, Blojos, where the heck have you been? What has your life been like? Why is the sky blue? Well, fact of the matter is, I got married this year, and I have been busy. I, yes. Yes, yes. I've bought a lot of new figures, I've got lots of stuff to review, I just haven't put it up because I've been busy being married and loving life. So, if you don't believe me, there's my wedding ring. Bow! Anyway, um, sometime I'll have to get her on the video here. Anyways, back to what you guys were wanting. I have Scar, the figure here, from Series 3, like I was stating earlier. So, uh, I'll just jump right into this thing. In the package, you can see he looks pretty awesome. Um... See his name across the side over here, I guess it would be. Uh, really cool. You see some cool artwork at the top there. So it says, figure stand included. On the back, you can see Scar there. And if this had been American packaging, um, there would be a write-up there for Scar as well. But because Canadians get gypped for pretty much everything, uh, Marvel decided to leave it out. So anyway, I'm not bitter or anything. Not me. Anyway... On this side, you can see the other figures included in this wave, which were uh, Doctor Doom, Doctor Strange, and Falcon. So uh, that's about it for the packaging. I will open them up and take out the figure and show you guys. Alright, so now that I've got the box open, I'm going to apologize for what I said earlier. The Canadian packaging actually has a write-up, but in order to find out anything about the specific character you're going to buy, you have to buy the character first. And on the inside will be a fold-out sheet that has a write-up. And it says, Not many beings can match the raw strength and power of Scar. The son of Hulk has few weaknesses. His regenerative ability coupled with the old power inherited from his mother allow him to keep on fighting no matter the opponent or terrain. Scar has battled some of the world's worst villains and has always emerged victorious. So... That's it for the write-up. Uh, we'll move right on to the figure here. Now, uh, as you can see, he's a pretty massive figure. He's uh, he's actually he's pretty awesome, I would say. Um, when I was buying it in the store, I tried to make sure that I got one with a good paint job. But looking in the package, every single one had a great paint job. So. There's not really much to look out for there. He's got some nice tampa work on his muscles, some tattoos, and uh, yeah, he's got some some pretty decent articulation as well for a figure of this size. He's roughly four and a half, five inches tall, which is definitely slightly bigger than uh, your average Marvel Universe figure. Um, and as for articulation, he's packed full of it. He's got a uh, double-jointed neck, I believe. But it doesn't really help him too much because of his hair. It's about as far back as you're going to get his head. He's got ball and socket joints at the shoulders. Swivel biceps at the shoulder. A uh, single hinged elbow. And a swivel wrist. For... The waist, he's got the same kind of um, ab crunch as uh, as uh, most of the Marvel Universe larger figures. He's uh, He's got a waist swivel as well. Uh, he's got a swivel at the top of the quadricep. A double hinged knee. And kind of a ball and socket ankle joint. Which all works really well together. Now... Some of his joints are really tight, but a lot of his joints are also really loose, which is something that uh, may worry you over time, but right now it's actually not 
not that bad. Um, his base that he comes with is sized to pro. It's it's pretty good base. Uh, however, if you attach any one of his feet, you're going to cover up either the number figure that he is with his left foot, or his name if you peg him in with his right foot. Here, I'll just show you here. If you peg him in with his right foot, his name is Err. So, uh, that's just a minor nitpick there. He's got huge feet, but uh, they should accommodate to that and give him a huge base, I think. But uh, either way, if you're into using bases, he fits just fine on it. Uh, and his only other accessory is his sword. Uh, now, this is a pretty nicely sculpted sword. However, it, uh, in my opinion, it looks a little too toyish. It's it's sculpted in this uh, kind of pearlescent silver, and then the the uh, rope that's on it is painted in this brown color. And it is a nice sword, but it's just uh, it looks a little too toyish in my opinion. That's just a minor minor nitpick. So uh, here, I just gotta get his sword back in there on his, in his hand. Oh, here. Let's check something out real quick. He's actually got uh, this cool scabbard on his back, which the sword does fit into. If you don't, if you want to pose him just flexing his muscles, you know. Anyway, he's a he's a pretty cool figure. Uh, now in Canada, this figure is going to run you about ten dollars. Uh, in the states, I believe it'll be seven to eight dollars. And at that price point. It's kind of, it's kind of iffy for me, but uh, that's only because I don't really know a lot about Scar. I mean, I saw him and I was like, sweet, a buff-looking, awesome Hulk guy, and I bought him. <laughs> I almost bought him for twelve dollars at a comic book store, and I was like, no way in hell would I pay twelve dollars for a figure this size. But uh, that's pretty standard for the market these days, I would say. Um, and. I mean, for your money, you're getting a figure that's very well painted, uh, has a nice sculpt, good articulation, and a couple accessories to boot. So, I mean, it's it really depends on if you're a huge fan of Scar or of Hulk or of Marvel, really. If you're collecting all the Marvel Universe, I'd say this is definitely one of the ones that sticks out to me. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um... If you have any questions or comments, please leave them on the video. And uh, until next time, you guys have a great day. Keep collecting whatever it is you collect. Bye-bye.